Alrighty, good morning from Tamcock. Uh, it's day seven. Day seven. Um, I don't think there's going to be much in today's vlog just because the Super Typhoon Yagi hits northern Vietnam this evening. Um, and we're trying to get a train from where we are, near where we are in Ninh Binh down to Da Nang, which is towards the middle of the country, um, like an overnight one. So we kind of just got to make, I've got to go to the train station to check that the train's actually going to run. If not, we'll try and get a bus down, like an overnight bus, but we've got to wait quite a while because the train leaves at 9.30 tonight. So while we were going to do stuff today, there's no, it just rain all day. So probably just chill out, hang out um, in the kind of the front office of um, the homestead that we're at and then head into town possibly um, once I'm back from the train station, depending on what news we get. But yeah, follow along for what is probably going to be quite an interesting, interesting but short day. Waiting in the what is it, Ninbin train station. Um, there were no grabs around for us to get to to take our own grab to Ninbin. So luckily our homestay uh, owner he arranged a taxi for us to get here. Um, but yeah, we've got roughly nine and a half hours of waiting here, which will be very interesting. But I mean, it's better that we're in here then having a rush later on or worry about weather, but I'll show you outside. <laughs> I know you can't. <laughs> oh, it's flooded there. <laughs> Quick, it's flooded there. <laughs> so many cars. Pull it down. It is down. No, it's not. This is definitely an experience, that's for sure. <laughs> it is mad. Like, it's not even raining that heavy, but... So now we're just waiting on news on that one before our train. Not sure how long it'll be, but we'll see if we get on the train tonight or not. Alrighty, <coughs> update time. We have been here since roughly 12 o'clock. It's now 10.20 p.m. 
still waiting for our train. It's like it's, it's understandable why it hasn't come, but it's been a long day. Um, but yeah, just found a spot to kind of hunker down and now we've just got, like I got a text 20 minutes ago saying three hours. We also got a text like two hours ago saying an hour and a half. We'd wait, I'd be able to sign in, been on the train, but no, sadly not. Sadly, still waiting for the train at 6 a.m. and apparently it's not gonna be here till 8 a.m. Barely got like glimpses of sleep. <sighs> got glimpses of sleep overnight, but not really. Like, shocking, but not much you can do, it's a typhoon and all that, but yeah, frustrating to say the least, but yeah, let's see how today goes. made it onto the train um, we had a bit of a straggler down in that bed there I don't think he was meant to be there but that's all right you, as soon as he woke up he made up his bed folded up the blanket and left it um, and pretty much ran away I can't blame him considering how late this train is um, but yeah it's got a solid I believe it's 14 hours, I might be completely wrong uh, to get to Da Nang and then we've got to take a grab to Hoi An. So it's going to be a long day in the train. Luckily the cabinet actually feels quite comfortable and looks pretty clean, which is surprising. It's pretty gross. No, it's pretty clean compared to what it can be. Yeah. Um, but yeah, probably probably catch you a bit later. included in our ticket, thankfully. Um, I think it's chicken, tofu, or tofu and beef or something. Um, spinach or morning glory and some sort of like soupy. Uh, pretty interesting. All right, gonna take you guys for a little tour. Little tour of the, the cabin. So we got my bunk. 
men's bar. And then two spare bunks. We got table. There is my meal. Didn't eat too much of it. And now I'm just gonna go for an explore through the train. But look at that. Just passing the river now. So this is a six bath, I think it's called hard bath, but it actually looks pretty good.
tidy. So, as you probably saw, I uh, just had some dinner that was kindly provided to me. Um, the rice is good. The the rice was good. The um, the pork bit of the meat was good. Then there was some mystery meat which I wasn't sure about. It did look like chicken neck and stuff. Uh, tried a bit of the other meat and then tried the soup until I saw what looked like to be a bit of a, a crab stick in it. And I don't like fish so that instantly turned me off it. Um, we're about halfway to Hue and then we've got to go from Hue to Da Nang, which I'm not sure how long it'll take, but it'll be a late one, I reckon, tonight. Not, not exactly what we need, but what can you do? But hopefully there were some pretty epic views along part of the train track with the mountains and the river and the like, water buffalo. Five hours or something from last staying in a, a room. We've arrived at 11, 11 15, 11 o'clock to our next hotel in Hoi An. And it surprised me how good it is because I think Mum booked it specifically for points, didn't you? It's mad. It's so fancy in fact that if you steal the laundry bag or the toilet roll holder bag, you pay a surcharge. And it literally says, if you would like to take it home, you pay this much. Crazy. Um, but yeah, hope you enjoyed watching a day in the train. Um, it should have been a bit more interesting than the day in a train station. Um, hopefully tomorrow it's a bit more exciting once again, but yeah. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment, and share, and I'll see you tomorrow.